Growing up, my mom often told me, God put me on this earth to make you a better person. This was usually followed by grumbling and complaining as she made me go to hula class, read to my little sister, or study for an upcoming test. At the time, I thought she only said this to force my cooperation, but her sentiment rings true. As humans, we need purpose and we seek fulfillment. However, our telos, the ultimate end to which we should pursue, is often shattered by the material things of this world. They lead us to pursue false ends, such as fame, wealth, honor, or status. Pacifica, a school only six years old with barely over 200 students, dares to challenge these worldly ideals. The founders, teachers, advisors, coaches, and all those at Pacifica have dedicated themselves to creating community that can rise from this pluralistic, secular society and think and live well. It is a worthy and difficult pursuit, and as a result of their diligence, Pacifica has become a place in which our goals and hopes are not dictated by the whims of someone else, but rather by what is good, true, and beautiful. But as my classmates and I can testify, the journey to thinking and living well is riddled with failure and heartache. Just as the characters in the books we read about battled sea monsters, transformed into giant cockroaches, and traveled through the nine circles of hell, we faced our own trials and tribulations and often fell short of our own expectations. We flung tests, lost games and races, <laughs> messed up lines on stage, forgot about the BOD due to the next class period, and definitely, not speaking from personal experience, showed up to school without shoes <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> as children, we associated all that was hard with all that was bad. But as we've grown up these past four years and continue to so grow, the struggle has become an integral part of the people we are and the people we hope to be. Life's obstacles do not limit our telos, but rather the challenges we face carve the path necessary to reach our proper end. Through failing and in turn being met with grace, we are able to reach the good discussions, meaningful relationships, and transcendent experiences that make, that make Pacifica so unique and so valuable. I think it's fitting that in our last semester of senior year, we talked a lot about love, both what it meant for the characters in our readings and what it means in our own lives. As freshmen, when asked, does a rule love psyche, we scrambled to find any real substantial answers because at the time, we didn't know what constituted love. We went on to read about tragic love, unrequited love, and love personified. But I believe our true understanding came from receiving love firsthand. We saw it in the teachers who would spend their lunches sitting with us, in the classmates who never failed to make us laugh, in the parents who supported and encouraged us, in the coaches who demanded our best, in the busy faculty who could always spare us a smile or wave. We saw love everywhere and we saw love anywhere. Love is not a feeling or a passing passion. It is a deliberate choice that is made in the small moments of normal days. It is not glamorous, but selfless and quiet. So, to Pacifica, to all who have contributed and been a part of the school in our lives, thank you for choosing to love us. Your love reflects Christ's, who did not love us because we were particularly lovable, but because he is love. Thank you for having faith in us and sharing your love throughout our journey here. I ask that you continue to do so as we also continue to think and live well in our own endeavors as we go out into the world and love others like you have loved us. My coach once told me that the best compliment you could give a runner is not that they're fast, but that they're strong. In the same way, I encourage my fellow graduates to go out into the world <laughs> in your new paths and adventures and be strong. Strength in the sense to dare to seek the truth, the truth, not your truth. And when you do, stand firm in those convictions. Build yourself on a firm foundation so that even if the rain falls, floods come, or winds blow, you will remain upright. Finally, thank you, thank you, thank you. These past four years have been such a blessing. In the couple weeks leading up to graduation, I've been telling myself, <laughs> I guess it's a good thing that it's hard to say goodbye. It means our, our time together was not wasted. It meant something, and it was special. We learned, loved, and grew as we took steps towards an end greater than ourselves. 
This isn't a forever farewell, but I'll miss you all the same. Please welcome back to the podium, Mr. O'Neill. <laughs>